Uh, 44 attendees are with us. So, welcome, friends. We are going to start the uh, today's webinar very soon. Stay connected with us. Uh, we are happy to have you all with us. Soon, we are going to start our live event, which we have planned for you only specifically for the learners of academic writing as well as you know, the prospective learners and to give you a way for progressing in academic writing. So we are going to enjoy. I'm hopeful that you will enjoy this session. I'm pretty sure. And, uh, and this is the platform. I think you, uh, this this will be the new platform for you people. We are here with this platform. So you can, uh, if you are there, connect, if you are connected with the Microsoft Live, uh, Microsoft event, Microsoft Teams itself. So you can be there with us. You can. Uh, Put your queries in the chat box and. Uh, you can put your queries in the chat box, so I'm going to. Be live. Hello. Welcome friends. Welcome in this webinar on the academic writing. We are going to conduct this power pack presentation of academic writing and so I MOOCs in this one hour. And hope all you will be enjoying this session with us. Since this journey of academic writing have been very wonderful with. Not only in the national level, but also in the international level. So before beginning, I would like to clarify that there is uh, whatever you are seeing, we are using the Microsoft live event in which uh, so far more than 100 attendees are connected with us and uh, it's increasing. The numbers are increasing exponentially and uh, I think more than 2000 learners have been registered for this webinar. I welcome you all friends. And uh, we are going to start our presentation. In which we'll be. Giving you a brief overview of academic writing as a course and. Swam MOOCs. So let me take you. To the. Overview of the thing what we have planned for you yes friends the course academic writing is being hosted by the garhwal university and uh, myself Dr. Ajay Semelti is hosting this course for with you people at the swim platform and this is going to be a very wonderful journey and let me take you directly to the point to the presentation of this workshop this webinar today. So friends, welcome from Garhwal University. First of all, we are the Central University located in the lap of Himalayas 
in the Uttarakhand. Welcome from the land of gods, from the land of Badri Vishal, from the land of Baba Kedar, and the land of origin of Ganga, Ma Ganga. So friends, welcome in this webinar on academic writing and Swayam Moogs. I am Yurashi Swayam coordinator of Gadwal University. Friends, academic writing can change the history. It has the almighty power. It can change the generations. We have been talking about the things for quite a long time. We'll be discussing traits of academic writing. To begin with, each and every kind of academic writing, the clarity must be there. Be clear in communicating your idea to the reader. Completeness. Each communication should be complete in totality. Logic is required. The technicality, the technical terms, language, these are used. Sequencing for smooth transition from one point to next, the next point and the another point and so on. The unambiguity is also required. There is no place for ambiguity in academic writing. Reader friendliness is the key point. Whenever you are in academic career, you all are here in this academic journey. You are aspiring for you know, growth in academia. And friends, believe me, the publications, the research, the research endeavors and their outcome in the form of publications are the things which can take your career at the next level. And that's why learning academic writing on time is utmost important. Most of us don't understand the requirement of academic writing in time. It delays our professional growth and demotivate us. Writing wrong or making mistake in academic writing is considered ethical crime. It happens. It is the time to learn friends for generations. We have wrapped uh, academic writing in mystery. This must change many arts, many knowledge, many, you know, special arts, science and so many sciences have become extinct just because they were not shared. Our trouble with writing is not the evidence of our unfitness for the profession. It is not some secret sign of unworthiness or inaptitude. It is nothing to be ashamed of. Let's admit and ask for help. And I congratulate you that you are here. You have shown the courage to learn something new. So that you can have your own path in the journey towards the growth in your career. I'm hopeful at least I can start the journey, that journey of academic writing with you people. I would love to share. I would love to learn from you. Let us learn together and make this environment of learning together. Friends, academic writing. Reader friendliness is required. Critical thinking and critical reading is required. Language, rational, logic, cohesiveness. Not many things are associated with academic writing. It's an art as well as a science. Now, what is the flow of action in academic writing? What happens? First, you start reading, you collect the knowledge, then you go for critical thinking, idea generation. Then you try writing the things. However, you have to do the research. You have done the research. Now I'm talking about the writing parts. That's why I'm not focusing on the research itself. So you develop a framework and that is utmost essential. That framing that outline out and framing that first draft. Then you go for revision of this, that draft you have written, multiple draft, evaluation of your first idea, and then go for proofreading, checking, and finalizing that idea. And it is common in all kind of academic writing, whether you go for thesis writing, go for research paper, review paper, any kind of academic writing. OK. Now you can have 
conversion of publication of your thesis. You can take your thesis into the review paper, research paper, conference, abstract paper, book, chapter, book, digital writing and miscellaneous. They may be, it may be policy paper, project proposal, patent even. These in the dissertation are the formal kind of academic writing which are which you have to do mandatorily. But if you don't go for these review, research, conference, abstract, your career will not take a you know uh, a jump. So if you want the growth, let's learn the academic writing. So now, friends, we in the academia we have got the different stakeholders, and all the stakeholders have the different needs, isn't it? So focus. My request is here. I'm here with a uh, brief concept. A pinpoint request that in Indian context, the flood of Tom, Dick and Harry, I used to call them tedious journals, you know, it has also affected the credibility of Indian research globally. To get more and more score in academia, in academic performance indicator, many researchers are just publishing for numbers. Please remember the time has come. The trend has come. Many state of the art institutes, IITs, universities just ask for the papers published in SCI index journal or good index in journals in good impact. Don't fall in the trap of these journals, these substandard journals. Be honest in academic writing. This is utmost required. The publication when we go for we actually whenever uh, you get yourself enrolled into your PhD, you go for your research work or dissertation work. No, what is required? What do you need to know? What what should be done? How should be it uh, should be done? Where you should uh, target your uh, manuscript and when it should be done regarding the publication? You require lot many things. You get confused, full of questions. What do you need to know? Let me give you a brief thing. A brief overview. Just take a few seconds and try to enumerate the things of your own then match it with my uh, you know output my take these are the things you must know and we are going to cover in our online course that is freely available in the swam we am going to discuss number 1 you must learn the academic english yes i am not talking about the english the academic english that is effective english is required to be simple clear, concise, reader friendly, free of errors, voices that what voice you are using, passive, active, what are the, what are the styles you are adopting, APA, MLA, CMS. Then the plagiarism is the next issue. You know, after the English, because it is a major hurdle for non-native speakers, we will be discussing the thing in the uh, in an entire week. What is plagiarism? Literary theft affecting the academic integrity. You must know the consequences, detection, how to avoid it. Someone has caught, you know, done the copy paste. Supervisor has caught that fellow. This is you, the plagiarism. And no friends, mark my words. Quote, unquote, there are rules. In which. Anyone can be punished. For their academic theft. You cannot copy paste things and publish your work. They are they are the regulations by UGC regulation 2018. That is called promotion of academic integrity and prevention of plagiarism in higher educational institutions. Just type UGC regulation 2018. Academic integrity or plagiarism you will come to know. Please be cautious. It can take your thesis. It can take your PhD registration for faculty members. It can take your increments. It can even take your jobs. We will let you know how to avoid, how to detect the plagiarism. There are the government rules also on the self plagiarism. UGC recently in April 2020, UGC come up. You cannot even copy paste your own previous work and generate the new work. That is called text recycling. You can't do. Lot many things we don't know actually. And remember whether you do something like this intentionally or unintentionally. This is a punishable offense. And this you will have to learn and we will let you know. So plagiarism we will let you know in entire week. 
by Dr. Mona Zemilti will be dealing exclusively on the plagiarism issue in an entire week. We'll be dealing with these aspects of detection avoiding. Next thing is getting the resources. How we can go with the when we are uh, starting our research, reading and thinking. What to read, what to think. The prospective topics, the related body of knowledge, that brainstorming, that literature review. You know, friends, literature review. The sources, databases, methods, organization, research gap, origin of idea, aim and objective. This also to be learned. Without this, you cannot write a paper. You cannot go for a quality academic writing. Literature review gives the foundation to your work. And we will let you know. Major types of writing, you must know about the review, research, thesis, conference paper, book, chapter, research, paper, proposal, digital writing, OER development. All we are going to cover. Open educational resources. The things are available freely. The educational resources are called OER, open educational resources. You may collect it from these all the social media or the learning management system like Coursera, edX, YouTube, Tutpad, Udemy, Khan Academy, Quora. We have our own channel. Open knowledge. Just you can have a snapshot of this thing. Cut dot ly forward slash OK line. So this is the uh, channel in which we have given plenty of uh, resources freely available for you. OK, please do enjoy the lectures there. Targeting journals. The next thing you must learn, you know, wherever you want to from where, whatever the source may be, please do learn these things if you want to have good quality publications and if you want to write the papers, research, review paper, book, chap book chapters, you know, you must know what are the journal metrics, site score, SNP, SJR, author metrics like H index, G index. Yes. Without knowing these things, you cannot target a quality journal. And targeting is utmost important. Before writing, you will have to plan where to send. And that's why you need to learn these things. And other major domains, there are there are major domains, various, dealing with the submission and post submission, team collaborations tuning between the research scholar and supervisor. My friends, you know that. That research scholar and supervisors. The tuning is at most important. The time and team management also to be learned. You cannot hang on with a single paper for a, for six months just for writing it. Even in the academic writing, not only in the research, you will have to plan a good timeline for writing your paper. Now this was the first section in which we discussed. What are the basis, uh, basic requirements for academic writing? Let us talk about in the next 15 minutes, we'll be talking about the concept of MOOC. MOOC stands for Massive, M for Massive, O for Open, O for Online Courses. So Massive Open Online Courses. Friends, these are Massive stands for Large Enrollment Numbers, no mandatory qualification to join this course. It is open to all. Fully online course structured course content is provided so that anyone, anytime, anywhere can be learned. How to use these SWAM MOOCs? MOOCs, especially MOOCs, there you can have lot many MOOCs from lot many platforms, but a SWAM is the Government of India's platform. And we will discuss the implementation of credit transfer, how you can avail the credit transfer. SWAM is a Government of India initiative. SWAM so stands for Study Webs of Active Learning for Young Aspiring Minds. It is in the tune of you know, cardinal principle of our you know, education policy that is that uh, ensures equity, access and quality. Education must be available to each and everyone easily. The quality education. To bridge this digital divide, the SWAM has come up with Lots of courses from class 9 to PG to research for every person in which every MOOC, every online course in SWAM had the four quadrants video lectures, e contents that downloadable quality content, quality notes you can say, self assessment tests, quiz exercises so that you can learn the things, and then 
it is not completely online you could say the online platform is available for one to one tries so you can you can have the discussion peer learning there you can raise your queries there just like in class and it will be answered by the expert there are the nine nestle coordinators there for which are who are dealing with different different and this course which we are going to discuss is being run by consortium for educational communication you know, this is the website of swayam you just go to the swayam.gov.in if you are uh, not aware of this swayam this platform please do visit this website and we will be giving any we will giving the live demo that how to enroll yourself into the courses now swayam covers for skill based courses syllabus based courses from ug pg 9 to 12 all courses advanced curriculum and professional certification tailored to meet the demand of choice based credit system cbcs and is available for all nationally and internationally so do visit this swam explore reference swam as we have mentioned four quadrant means four components video lectures quality you will be having you know the whatever the video lectures please mark my words video lectures are not live lectures they are the basically the recorded lectures which are released week by week by the course coordinator and i am your course coordinator for academic writing course so we will be releasing the uh, you know weekly content and we will be taking up your queries there we will be give, you will be given some exercises weekly graded ungraded you can download the uh, you know content the quizzes will be there and the online discussion forum will be there for clearing your doubts this makes the platform very wonderful and how you can get the credit transfer it means say for example if you want academic writing please do adopt if you are faculty member do adopt it in statutory guidelines in uh, take it to the bus that yes our pre phd course or uh, four credits will be uh, given through this course especially it is it has become very popular uh, among various universities and various university even the bits pilani you know sastra so many universities central state punjab bajinda many universities are giving the credit transfers and giving the weightage for completion of academic writing mooc so take it to the ec take it to the ec through ac and bos board of studies for transfer of credit pass it there select that particular course you can select not only this course any course from swayam mooc and they are the things are available you can designate the course counter disseminate the information get the uh, you know aware your student for enrolling into the course then you will have to appear you know you can learn you can enroll yourself in n number of courses then but you have to for certification you have to appear in the exam in which internal scorings are given by the national coordinators through the courses quiz assignment etc and the term and exam is taken by the nta for which a minimal fees is taken however for learning it is completely free you need if you don't want to give the exam don't do don't give the exam not to worry just enroll and enjoy the learning for as many courses as you want and remember as per the swayam guidelines no university shall refuse any student for credit mobility for courses on through moocs many iits are transferring the credits on through the moocs it means they are doing the entire paper of it, uh, at this time up to 20% of credits of a particular semester can be earned it means you just do this uh, course if it is have it has been approved by the bus of your department as a subject paper you can get the four credits just going enrolling and going through and passing this examination just you have to surrender your certificate so friends academic writing mooc so this is the actually the curtain raiser of academic writing swayam mooc by my team so friends welcome to our mooc academic writing i proudly you know announce the announce that formal commencing of our mooc massive open online course on academic writing and we will be discussing in next 15 20 minutes on the academic writing mooc what is all about what is the course all about yeah. no friends academic writing
This is our fourth cycle, friends. It is India's most popular MOOC. And we have been appreciated not only at the national level, but also with the international level. No, you just have to go. What you need, what you are needed to uh, and join this course, you will just go to the swam.gov.in. OK, just write uh, here academic writing. OK, in this course catalog, OK, course catalog. And then you will find academic writing. We promise to trigger an excellent academic writer. And what we are going to let you know, we are going to let you know various kind of academic writing, identifying and avoiding the plagiarism, practicing the basic skills of performing quality literature review, how you can do the wonderful literature review, to practice the basic skills of research paper, review paper and thesis writing, to target the research work to suitable journal and communicate for the publication, to practice the time and team management, to practice empirical study uh, and digital le learning, digital writing, developing open educational resources, and of course, a little bit about the Matthew Open Online courses. We will also be discussing book chapter writing, chapter writing, book writing, uh, conference paper writing in our 15 week course, in which any time you can learn, you can go through any time. This is not a time bound thing, okay? And that, the contents are going to be there with lifetime to, with you. So yeah, what you have to do now, my team member, I will request uh, Lokesh to let you know about how to join. So this is going to be the uh, uh, landing page. So I'm just having a, just transferring my requesting Lokesh, our team member who is our, uh, you know, instructional designer i'm inviting lokesh for yes i lokesh can you hear me yes sir yes sir yes sir so uh, i'm inviting lokesh for just a minute so sir, i have shared already shared already okay you have shared thank you thank you yes. lokesh so uh, this is the uh, home page or dashboard page of soyam.gov.in. You just have to type soyam.gov.in and then you will get to this page and uh, hear the introduction and few uh, basic information related to the Soyam project. And then the national coordinators, all the national coordinators have been listed here and you can click here and then go to the details of the uh, these national coordinators. And then a uh, few Swayam benefits are enlisted here. Uh, best in class um, instructors and weekly assignments, proctored exams and easy credit transfer, active local chapters, systematic approach. And these uh, few uh, bullet points or highlighted points uh, which uh, are about the Swayam. And then a few success stories are there at the bottom of that page and few links related to that uh, application uh, available on Google app, uh, Google Play. OK, and you can also follow uh, Swayam uh, project uh, using uh, Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. So uh, as we are talking about academic writing, uh, how can we find our course uh, or academic writing on the Swayam platform? You just have to go to this uh, search catalog and then you have to just write academic writing. OK, and uh, by typing this and it will show you the results of two kinds of courses. One ongoing courses and another which has been uh, or upcoming courses. So uh, ongoing courses. These courses have been uh, started already and uh, a few of uh, these uh, are uh, ended up and uh, waiting for to be uh, registered to uh, register for examination and then uh, all the things. But we are now focusing on the upcoming courses. So here uh, our academic writing course is enlisted for the uh, en uh, enrollment um, prior to 28th February 2021. Okay, 
by clicking on this uh, bar or this uh, link you can go to the dashboard page of our course academic writing by dr ajay samalti and details related to this course and one intro video is also available there okay so uh, you can um, have all the basic information related to our course uh, here objective of our objectives of our courses and target group testimonials from previous learners and then our uh, it's about our team and then course layout there is a summary uh, the course status is upcoming it is type of elective type the uh, course duration is 15 weeks starting from 11th january and then end date is 25th april uh, will be uh, ending on 25th april enrollment date ends on 28th february it is a multidisciplinary course of uh, post graduation level and here is uh, the course layout course uh, is of 15 weeks uh, having four credits and uh, each week has been divided to a specific concept of uh, academic writing or uh, part of academic writing which is very useful so uh, uh, and then the instructors bio you can uh, have a look on instructors bio and then course certificate um, uh, information is also available on that dashboard page you can share uh, this course uh, to your family or friend by using any of these links um, you can use whatsapp linkedin and email uh, or twitter or facebook or any other type of source okay if you want to join the course you just have to click on this join link so far we have uh, 2382 candidates uh, have been enrolled in our course by clicking on that uh, this join you will be moved to a, a new page Uh, like this and on and on this page you have uh, two type of option you can you just uh, register yourself by a new email id but in general we use either gmail or microsoft account or facebook id so we can use any of uh, these three to register ourselves in that course so i am going to demonstrate you uh the registration process by using a sample gmail id okay so uh, by clicking on google you can uh, go to your um, the gmail address or uh, google login page by using your credentials uh, you can uh, use uh, your gmail id i have already entered the credentials so i am going to just click on that uh, most of you if you are having already um, uh, enter the gmail id in your system you will be getting the same uh, steps or the same uh, conditions as i have uh, followed so uh, you can use your email id on which you are interested to get all the information related to the course like the announcements or the uh, course release or weekly release information or any important uh, discussion uh, you are going through on our discussion board so uh, give that email address which are you uh, which you will be using to follow the academic writing course okay then continue it will give you uh, a form which uh, will decide your profile uh, as a candidate and this information will be used to generate your certificate at the end of your Uh, course if you got passed through the examinations okay then name uh, we can use uh, any type of uh, uh, system here so i am going to use swayam test okay i am going to give my number here and then age group do you belong and these are the categories choose any one any type of category uh, any one of these categories profession you can choose student if you choose student you have to give few details like highest qualification year of graduation if uh, your institution is a part of any swayam chapter you have to give information related to that and then your state city uh, college name 
and if it is not enlisted here you can choose other okay and then uh, school roll number if you are going for a credit transfer then you can uh, use uh, a roll number of your uh, course or you are enrolled with uh, which roll number you are enrolled with and then your degree department and study year okay we have few other options like we can uh, join as a faculty uh, then uh, all the information will be remaining same except the course details uh, you are uh, enrolled in in your school or your college okay and then uh, if you are an industry personnel you can uh, select employed as your profession then if your industry is associated with swayam then you can uh, select these options okay and for others you can just choose other and then your highest qualification and year of graduation so the registration step is very easy uh, but uh, just you have to choose the right uh, option from here if uh, you are going to choose student you just have to check this uh, option precisely if uh, your institution name or college name is not available here then you can choose other if it is available then you can go on and uh, if you are going for a credit transfer you must use your roll number if it is available to you okay so uh, by doing this uh, we can uh, enroll into any course uh, i am going i am just going to choose the other and then highest qualification uh, bachelor's degree a yeah, uh, three year bachelor's degree and then year of graduation 2019 agree to same conditions and agree to follow the honor code and then you just have to save and your uh, registration is almost completed okay now uh, you will be uh, redirected or forwarded to the announcement board of the course and here you can find all the announcements which have been uh, published so far so just one announcement has been made to this course so far so it is available here uh, with its date and you can follow all the information using this tab so the next tab is about the course when you click on this uh, you will get the information related to the course as same as the dashboard you were seeing earlier okay then on by clicking on the go to course you can go back to that uh, previous window okay uh, here the third tab is about ask a question then uh, when you click on this uh you will be redirected to the uh, discussion boards question uh, or group where you can find all the in, uh, related informations uh, to the academic writing okay so uh, here uh, you can discuss anything about the academic writing uh, course coordinator and the teaching assistants or discussion forum moderators involved in academic writing will be uh, answering you or addressing uh, the queries related to the academic writing course and uh, other stuffs like uh, examination or registration or any other thing related to the so important okay then you can see your progress here by clicking uh, on the progress bar as uh, the course has not been started so uh, the progress is nearly uh, nil or zero assessment score will be uh, finalized when you will be uh, completing the course okay so uh, this was all about the basic uh, dashboard of uh, the course uh, we have very limited options here at course outline once the course will start uh the things will be adding up here like week 1 uh, after uh, this warm up activity and then week 2 week 3 uh, as uh, with the time they are going to be published by the course coordinator okay. right now we are if they are uh, you know clicking on the warm up activity it will be opened up you can show them okay 
and they yeah. can like this uh, you can go ahead with these thing one by one and they, uh, say for example if you click this one thing a particular link either the video or the text will be available to you or both of them both of these things will be available to you on the right hand side okay so you can go through these things and these all things say for example our uh, uh, this kind of similar kind of you know webinar of the very first webinar of the last uh, cycle is uh, available for you uh, we do conduct the workshop uh, the things in the live chat through the youtube streaming also so we'll be conducting the youtube streaming and we'll be taking up the answers uh, question answers through the uh, direct web links so friends so thank you lokesh thank you for thank uh, you. giving the insight of our platform of our course now we will be discussing a uh, little bit in the uh, particular part what we are going to discuss that uh, we, the things about what we are going to discuss what is remaining there let us discuss these things now you think you can uh, let me uh, just uh, uh, share my share my you know ppt for you so will be that would be good if i can select this thing okay now I'm going to share the content for you. Just a minute, okay? Yeah. Yes. yes. I think you can share, see the uh, this particular yes sir. slide now. You know. Thank you. So. Lokesh has told you he is the, the integral part of our academic writing team and uh, he is our um, you know ID instructor designer as well as our teaching assistant helping us in each and every point uh, in the entire cycle. So it is a MOOC with more than 30,000 enrollments in last three successful runs from more than 95 countries friends and I invite you all to and most of you have already you know be uh, already enrolled in the academic writing mooc i am going to let you know what you are going to get in this course okay you will be getting the well prepared and animated course content for easy understanding it is nicely animated nicely you know, you know with effect not gimmicks will you won't find gimmicks there you won't find things will be very easy and effectively be presented to you uh, modules including the web tools, practical video, very wonderful and very practical things. The, the our engagement as the YouTube analytics have been wonderful. We uh, track the analytics also and. So Anything wherever we go with the hands on practice detailing pre surveys. I think you might have also got the pre survey link there and we'll be floating time to time presenting the with the live webinars, not just uh, simply with a particular meet. All that we'll be going doing the YouTube streaming, um, you know, just like uh, in last week or last cycles. Also, we always had uh, regular YouTube streaming with more than 1000. Uh, attendees there because right now we are having more than 1800 attendees uh, with us. Thank you, dear participants. And we do sh share the results. Webinars, live interactions, you know, made the part of the course. We had given the things, and this is a wonderful thing. Please do note if you have the time, Samay Hapke Pass, ek snap lije bit dot do forward slash aw podcast mlt is the unique thing in the entire swam moves in any part I, to the best of my knowledge this is the only uh podcast related to or of a swam mooc so we have for the especially for our learners who are from the remote area who can't uh, have the you know access to the video due to the internet connectivities yes we have the podcast podcast or channels 
so that you can learn the thing. This is simply just like radio. You can uh, enjoy the things. OK, so just I have prepared for you people so that you, you, me, we can learn. OK, so YouTube channel is there which have uh, not only UGC 19 G03 open knowledge or oh, a lot many things. I think we are just this is the old slide. We have more than 3000 uh, 3000 subscribers and all that it is non monetized. Obviously made or we have made all the webinars public made the part of the course regular activity you will find OK in the form of Google Microsoft interesting activity activity are not related to some grading or that it is about the learning. That's why. I would like to let you know about the very success story of uh, the thing. Huge response we have got the in activity in forum. Extra learning materials are provided and videos are uh, videos are marked with timeline that where to see from if a one hour video is given, it will be given that OK from this minute to this minute you see. OK, this is the wonderful feature. We have uh, created a Facebook group. Please do join us in academic writing Facebook group for promotion and uh, for sharing the activities, sharing the things about the course and other things related to academic writing. We have more than 15,000 uh, members in the Facebook group. I have not counted recently, but last time it was 15,000. We have got the wide coverage. Team AW, uh, we are the three subject matter expert along with me, uh, Dr. Mona Similti and Professor Rajat Agrawal from IIT Roorkee. Uh, live webinars we have conducted. We, as, as I was telling you, we have got the wide coverage nationally and internationally. We have been Number one back to back in both the last cycles, not only in the July 2019, but also in the January July 2020 cycle in the exam registration. Yes, in exam registration, we were wonderful. We were number one even in the COVID-19 scenario. When all the MOOC had a huge dip of exam registration, we were number one. We are proud just due to uh, the passion of all learners. Thank you, dear learners for making us proud. And we have been recognized by the Press Information Bureau, Ministry of Education. Uh, we have been also been ranked in the top 30 worldwide MOOCs in 2019 and also ranked in the worldwide MOOCs of 2020. Another MOOC besides this, we are if you are interested to learn about the pharmacy. However, this is run only once in a year and we have completed the last cycle uh, in the December. The exam is just due for industrial pharmacy. You can also enjoy the other MOOC. However, it is not open for enrollment this time. It will be coming up next in the next cycle in July 2021. OK, then it will be located with us as uh, as it is an undergrad uh, massive open online course we will be uh, back with the industrial pharmacy MOOC in July 2021. So again, please do note. If you have not note, note the channel. Cut.ly, OK, like open sharing, open knowledge. Sharing is caring. So we had tried please and we will be sharing in the uh, emails or various parameters various uh, in YouTube YouTube channels. You will get the various playlist there. So a playlist is there AWCMLT tiny.cc forward slash AWCMLT. The entire list of lectures are there freely available for you, please. OK, nothing. No, uh, no monetary benefits are involved in there. The, the, uh, we have also been doing uh, educational resources development for pharmaceutical science as my uh, basic is from, from pharmaceutical sciences. However, I have been there in the multidisciplinary research. Uh, that's why I come up with this academic writing course. Similarly, and DDS, these we have contributed during the lockdown 57 hours of video lectures. So it is also available as a playlist in our open knowledge channel. Tiny.cc forward slash Similarly Cosmetics by Dr. Mona Similarly. Uh, if you want to learn about the swell, this is another playlist, you know, you know, you know, YouTube may look like playlist playlist to our channel. Mein. In our channel, it a playlist is also exclusively there on Swam. OK. Exclusive playlist on OER lectures by me, by uh, uh, which have been given in the uh, various occasions in the teachers training programs. I have also contributed in the RP module. So thesis writing ke mein aapko jana hai. general metric, author metric, a brief overview. RP course. So pedagogical methodologies by the Guru Jambeswar University uh, Hisar Haryana. So the four modules which are freely available. So this was about the pharmacy MOOC and academic writing in all. I would like to let you know friend the people who are crazy enough to think they can change the world are the ones who do and I congratulate you that you have shown the courage to show 
to open up that yes we need to learn the academic writing i promise you i will trigger an academic writer in you after going through this course but just you have to be with us you have to go through the video contents you have to go through the uh, uh, text content and besides my academic duties i am there besides mark my words besides my academic duties as a teacher as a researcher currently i am uh, uh, i'm doing three research projects from different funding agencies okay we are doing, doing there my three project fellows are working with me apart from my, my academic duties research duty i am always available for my learners for my 36000 learners put together from 95 countries i am always available for any kind of academic help mark my words academic help so join the academic writing mooc friends मैं आप सबका स्वागत करता हूं जुड़िए हमसे और एकेडमिक राइटिंग मूव को वापस एक हिस्ट्री बनाइए हमारे साथ जुड़िए और स्वयं खाली एकेडमिक राइटिंग नहीं है वट एवर काइंड ऑफ कोर्स यू वॉन्ट टू डू प्लीज डू अवेल दिलिटी प्रोवाइडेड बाई द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया ऑन द स्वयं प्लेटफॉर्म द डिजिटल लर्निंग इनिशियटिव बाई मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ एडुकेशन प्लीज डू एनरोल इन द स्वयं मूव and there are so many digital learning initiatives swayam prabha as i have told is a group of 32 video channels in which each channel has got its own youtube channel and we are available there all contents are available there sitting anywhere in the world sitting anywhere in nook and corner of india you can get the educational content you can get the lectures from the expert from iits i am bangalore anywhere okay please do explore swayam moves and i congratulate at this time i congratulate uh, friends from uh, especially we have got recently the result declared for the next cycle i would like to uh, congratulate gayatri isha tanvi uh, aiza and uh, you know uh, I, what i could remember the 10 names i think uh, these were wonderful people uh, the toppers of our academic writing mooc for the last cycle okay manas uh, these are the people and uh, i think tanvi go uh, isha go miss goel is there so these are 10 people who got and out of them two people got 99% marks and i am you know it's a incredible performance by any learner so that is time i invite you for questioning q and a and uh, lokesh will be helping us so these are some of things again Welcome to our MOOC Academic Writing. I think uh, I'm not taking much of your time, and this is the beauty of online learning and online teaching learning. And so I'm uh, being a so I'm mentor. We always respect the timeline, so we are abiding the timeline. So anyway, with these words, I would like to stop for my uh, presentation now. So friends. आपके कोई सवाल हो इफ यू वांट टू आस्क एनी क्वेश्चन प्लीज डू ड्रॉप योर क्वेरीज इन द चैट बॉक्स अगर आप टीम्स इस्तेमाल कर रहे हैं यू आर हैविंग द चैट बॉक्स देयर ऑन द टॉप ऑफ कॉर्नर राइट कॉर्नर यू कैन पुट योर क्वेरीज इन द राइट ऑफ द कॉर्नर एंड अवर मॉडरेटर विल बी टेकिंग एक्चुअली दिस इज अनलाइक अनदर इवेंट दैट यू कैन हैव द यू कैन गो फॉर द क्यू एंड ए एंड देन लाइव इवेंट क्यू एंड ए कैन बी सीन एनीवे Uh, we yeah, have 34 uh, we questions have already. Yeah, 34, 34 queries, uh, few related to the topic, and few already been uh, resolved. Like uh, audio is low or audio is high or so. Okay. Uh, the first query I'm going to publish is uh, I have published uh, the first one. Uh, you can see. Uh, hi sir, when you will uh, when your class will be beginning and the timing and when will be the exam? Is there any fee for that? Basic information. related to our yeah. course friends uh, if you will join this course you will have an faq there aapke paas faq ka ek folder hoga jo ki available hoga main aapko i what i want to let you know that this course is for learning it is absolutely free no fee is charged for enrolling and registering however if you want the certification you will have to appear in an exam for which the national testing agency this is the agency which takes all the national exam like uh, gate gpat neat it charges that 1000 rupees for general candidates and for reserved candidates is rs 500 and exam centers are pan india and uh, final exams are only mcq based okay so 
and the exam we, we are going to start our class these are not classes these are the, this is the course in which the contents will be delivered weekly and uh, it, the course is going to be start from 11th of jan and uh, 15 week course it is okay and it will be completing in 25th of april and most probably the exams will be in the month of may okay so far and the date is not decided the date will be intimated at the time at the end of uh, the course okay thank you so next question i am going to publish is by uh, mahesh vasava uh, good evening sir i want to learn how to write an excel excellent article yeah of course we are there we are here for to help you out uh, and you know writing an article require lot many things okay so we will be uh, taking you taking the basics first the introductory week then we will be moving to the how to write an effective english you know academic english and not only then the grammar we are we are not going to let you know grammar we are not going to teach we are going to let you know what is about the cohesiveness but writing we will be moving to the plagiarism and the yeah, literature review writing and then we will be moving to the research paper review paper we will be you know giving you each and every nitty gritty of the research article writing don't worry okay i think we will be adding up a uh, lot many things in your knowledge domain okay so next is by uh, ajay naik and he is welcoming you and thanking you thank you thank you ajay uh, so uh, next is uh, some anonymous question is uh, yeah. when is the industrial pharmacy exam industrial pharmacy exams are going to be you know this is actually these exams exam part is taken up uh, by the ministry and the national testing agency so most probably uh, the exam is going to be held i think in february most probably okay so, but these dates exam forms these all are done by directly by the ministries being the course coordinator i'll be communicating this thing for last cycle to all of you okay thank you mm. uh, so next question is also uh, anonymous uh, is this course equivalent to a refresher course for academicians no right now do for refreshers you should go for arpit courses okay arpit courses are actually the cs courses or fdp courses there uh, this is a simple certificate course okay for pg co, uh, pg however i promise that uh, if you want to learn this is one of the best courses which have been taken hand and hand on hand uh, by the i think uh, we in our my course in our course more than 40% of our learners are faculty members so uh, if you want to learn you are welcome thank you the next question is please provide certificate of attendance to all attendees yes. of course so, uh, we'll i can we'll say that move. if you have submitted uh, your details via the form we have uh, shared already uh the certificate will be on uh, email to you soon okay the next question is can we get the ppt of uh, for this lecture uh, for our better understanding i am giving you the entire course for your course. better understanding so <laughs> what to speak of in this slides okay <laughs> sir next question is i have a question that if someone wants to write a research paper then he works as both as primary and corresponding author or he cannot be both he has to be either primary or corresponding author generally you should be just either the primary or the corresponding it is of no use if you go for the primary as well as the uh, you know corresponding authorship it is not of any use okay sir if one wants to write a short communication how uh, how he can start to do this writing a Obviously, short we will be letting you writing a short communication requires the same kind of skills but you you can start it early in your career okay so we'll be we... dealing it with certainly okay uh, short communication is just about the research article writing itself but you will have to condense the things in such a manner that you may, uh, you meet the criteria uh, designed by the uh, you know given by the journal with respect to the length Yes, please. Sir, uh, I think uh, there is some okay. issue at your end, sir. Signal issue. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Just a minute. Okay. 
Yeah, I think we are yes. back. Yes, 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 sir. Uh, if we don't opt for exam and MOOC courses, do we get a certificate? No. I think you no. Uh, I think uh, the question is about this session. For this session, if uh, we can get a certificate or not. Yeah, we will. This give, particular session. We will give. Now this particular session we will give it. Okay. Okay. We will try to give. Today's video will be uploaded in YouTube or not? This is the question of sir, by Dr. Sathya. We, we will be uploading not in the YouTube. We will be uploading in the course. So you are welcome in the course. Join the course and it will be available in the course dashboard. Okay. Uh, next question is, will you be covering reference management also? Yeah, of course. You just go through the uh, things. It is. It has been uh, you know dealt in a particular week. Reference management and literature management too, completely. Okay. The next question is, uh, how will be the exams, MCQs or answer the following MCQs. type questions? It is going to be the MCQs uh, only, 100 MCQs. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I think uh, this is from a previous uh, learner. Sometimes the assignment you alert during the course are not accessible. So I think there is some issue with the site. You know, there are a lot many things, friends, may, dear learners. Uh, which are not in my control, which are not in course coordinator control because we are the user of that platform basically and uh, uh, not even the admins. We have uh, above us admins and super admins. Actually, they control the platform. We are just the user of that dashboard. So whatever is given to us. To you and we try as you might be knowing, I always try to help all my learners to the best what whatever the best I can do for them. I do for them. OK. Uh, sir, uh, when you will uh, when your classes will begin and the timing and when will be the exam? Uh, I think this uh, is the repetition yeah, of I the think first I, question. Please do know please, or many people get confused. These are not the live classes. These are the recorded classes and the, the once in a week the contents will be you know released. And you can access them at any time at any ease. And uh, even if you are seeing it after the four weeks, you can access any week, any content, any time. It is not required to complete a particular week and that particular week only. OK, please do remember this is a freedom which is provided in the MOOCs, Massive Open Online Courses. OK. Mm -hmm. I wish to know that whether industrial pharmacy course offered by you is in uh, has received AICT FDP approval or wish to know about the possibility date of examination of above mentioned courses. It's about this academic. course is uh, this Me, course industry. is not actually uh, the CEC courses. The all the courses these courses are the only certificate courses. These are not FDP courses. Number one. Number two, these things uh, the exam I have already told that you know soon the ministry will be giving these uh, dates and um, yes, of course. OK, the most probably we are uh, expecting that in the month of February the exam will be conducted. OK, and this decision, this call is to be taken by the ministry and the national testing agency and I will just abide by the rules. OK, thank you. Mm -hmm. Sir, uh, I did not register by the link which you have sent yesterday for a subject. Is it possibility to register? I think they are confusing uh, that uh, by registering for this event, they are already registered for the course, I think. No, 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 not at all. Please, yes. you will have to. They, the, this this particular webinar is just a content raiser for our academic writing MOOC. You will have to join the course uh, yourself on your end by going to the swim.gov.in and this thing will be available to you. This uh, and we will try to you know um, to make this thing available uh, so that you can easily uh, join the course. And this is not a big challenge. This is not a rocket. Okay. So ne the next question is also related. I did not register till now, and that link is not allowing me to register. Is there any other option to register again? So I think uh, this is also being uh, a confusion. There is a being a confusion uh, regarding today's event and the course academic writing. So uh, I want to. Uh, share the information Might that the for uh, today's information uh, today's event you cannot uh, register now because the event is going on but for academic writing course 
uh, is uh, there is a possibility to register till 28th february 2021 there is a date uh, okay of course. so prior to that you after can register that you cannot register after that you will, you can enroll your 12 up to 28th of february okay after that the enrollments will be closed so uh, uh, can you just inform the link for start up the course swim.com okay uh, so uh, i think i will be sharing the link at the end uh, i think uh, we will be sharing the course link to all the registered participants uh, whoever has registered through yes. the uh, that link uh, with this webinar uh, whenever we will be getting back to you with this uh, particular uh, link in the swim email hnbgu.in you can go to that uh, address swim hnbgu.in and there you can find at the landing page of the website that academic writing for this session fourth run cycle you can uh, get the link from there to register uh, to the course okay all the uh, links are available uh, at the website uh, we are going to update uh, those links time to time please visit our website swayam hnbgu.in swayam hnbgu.in this is our website swayam cell uh, hnbgu university uh, you can go there and you can use uh, that link to register to our academic writing course for this cycle prior to 28th february 2021 okay uh, sir please send podcast link yeah of course lokesh will be sending it the look uh, uh, our team will be sending the podcast link to you okay uh, in the webinar itself however we can uh, go through uh, I, what i'll try uh, i will uh, in the chat can you see the chat box i'll just uh, type for you there okay uh, yes, so sir, that you can uh, share hi yeah, yeah, i'm, I'm sharing can, it uh, okay you can have a look i will i will also share the thing and you can also uh, I'm live putting it in the chat. Q&A. No, uh, live live Q&A. Live, uh, you can yeah, just live Q&A. I'm actually, uh, Lokesh, I am not available to available. Uh, yeah, yeah, right, right, right now. I got it. I think meeting chat. Can you take it to the live event chat box, Lokesh? Yes, sir. Have you got it? Okay, because yes, I am unable to get that. I don't know what is happening. No problem, sir. I can do it. Uh, I'm not. Yeah. Okay. And this way, I'm also uh, this uh, sharing this thing to you. Just a minute. Hold on. Uh, I'm also. Yeah. Can you see? I'm actually share kar raha hu wapas se usi slide ko jisme podcast ka link humne aapko diya hai. But uh, what we have shared, you... sir, in live uh, event question, uh, question and answer. I'm, I'm I'm sharing. I'm sharing. Hold on. No, it's Hold on. been shared from my side also. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> that's fine. Okay. So, this is the link oh. of bit. Do a w podcast MLT. Okay. So, next okay. question is: Can we only join before the course, or uh, we can also join in the middle of the course? Yeah, you can join up to the twentieth of Feb. Yes. Any time. Whether okay. it is middle or initiation of the course, you can join up to the twentieth Feb. Twentieth Feb. Okay. Uh, after that, you can't join. You can't join. This is the simple thing. I am uh, doing my PG in English literature. How can I plan my study in such a way that may trigger my research mentality? Uh, I want to know the process and skills a researcher should have. Yeah, of course. Uh, this is the th thing which we are going to discuss in the entire course. That what is the kind of attitude? What are the kind of aptitude you should develop for incubating? an academic writer in you and i think this is that this answer can't be answered in a few lines uh, this requires a lot of efforts in lot many domains and this is this is the thing actually your question your the answer of your question is our entire course <laughs> okay so please uh, because uh, for learning the things writing the thing cohesiveness cohort uh, that coherentness you require the efforts in academic english you require the efforts in reference management, review article, literature review writing. Now, you no, know, you just know if even if you don't plan to review writing, you have to learn how to write the literature review 
because that literature is going to be the part of the uh, that uh, you know introduction part of the research paper and actually this is overall the passion which is required in a researcher it is not just about the publication it is about keeping your passion burning in you so that you can uh, do the wonders in research and academia thank you the next question is uh, will we get timely update on the of the course on our email id yeah of course the announcement is just sent to the your email ids and uh, this is this will be time to time it will be there but not the content of the course please do remember we never send the video or the any kind of uh, downloadable content into your emails many people are miss uh, you know do they uh, they are missing this point in a way that whatever we are giving we are going to deliver them we are going to send them into the email forget about that this is the uh, dashboard you have you will have to come to the dashboard you will have to learn the things you just have to uh, abide by the timelines abide by the rules there and uh, uh, it is pretty flexible you know we are very pretty flexible even for quiz number 1 of the, uh, week 1 the last date will be the end date of the course so you can do it up to the end date of the course so you will not miss anything okay thank you uh, uh, so i want to make a career in research can you please tell me uh, what should be my career plan i am currently pursuing ba llb from nlu shimla siddharth is asking sir you know i think uh, for that for doing the research the passion must be there and whenever and uh, you know that perseverance patience so many p's are required friends okay when you are doing for the research okay and publication is one of them <laughs> and and that for one of the p which is you know in between your supervisor you know supervisor p is also there na so that p is all the p's are very much linked together if you want to have to have a passion in the research you will have to take care of all the p's okay we will be discussing this thing don't worry one uh, many things which are required okay that we have, we have told you that what things you should know for academic writing or for being a researcher okay thank you okay so next question is by shubham uh, hello sir by doing this course uh, will i be able to work as a freelancer i don't know what is your aim but uh, um, uh, i think uh, being freelancer i don't know what what do you want to communicate that if you want to do the writing for some other people i can't promise it in this thing to you okay because getting a um, i don't know how to answer your question sorry because i am not a i'm not aiming for developing the entrepreneurship in the academic writing i don't want to open up a shop uh, regarding this thing and rather the ghost writing and all the things which are unethical in academic i don't want to promote rather however you, it's on you how you take the how you get your take away message okay you will have to define what you want to learn yourself in this particular because this is the you know uh, this is the knowledge the which has been offered to you you take it as is you want thank you okay so next question is by deepak how is review paper and chapter writing is different can you guide us about the basics of review paper of writing? course i will so, guide you i will guide <laughs> you i am there with the with the course itself we are yes. uh, we have we you know have started course. out we have completely covered in the entire course don't worry yeah. during the course yeah. okay next question is during the course duration in case and doubts Uh, or issue occurs uh, who do we contact and how question no is by no need to contact Anushka. anyone in personally there is a discussion forum ask question as lokesh i have told you that in the dashboard ask question is the there you will just put a query and we will get and uh, we will get instantly because it's a google group platform and we are always in touch with your queries and we are continuously giving the answers through that dashboard so it is a, you know you can say almost real time answering we do almost can't say exactly the real time but you will get your answers within 24 to 48 hours of each and every query mm-hmm. so uh, good evening sir uh, what type of books uh, we have to read yeah of course for research writing uh, you should uh, learn about the uh, writing skills 
whether you want to go for the creative kind of writing. However, I'm not uh, training here. I'm not giving the classes for the creative writing. Uh, you should go for literature management software, which you which if you are interested in some kind of software for uh, easing out your problems regarding the writing uh, with respect to the if you are poor in English, you need the improvement in, in English. So how to write good English? It is also to be learned. Sorry to say, but I have not focused the exact grammatical uh, as perspective of improving the English. I have uh, because it is a post grad course basically, so we it is expected to be of that particular level. So we haven't gone to the grammatical aspect. So please do refer to the grammatical aspect, preferably because for the native for the being non native to the English is a problematic figure. But remember, uh, just practice it. I think you will be comfortable with the academic English because the grammatical English and the academic English, they are entirely different. You know, this is the problem also with the non-native, with the native speakers also. Okay, thank you. So, uh, Dr. Suparna is asking about how much time do we get for completing the assignments? You get sufficient time. You get uh, sufficient time for uh, assignment completion. You know, almost, I think the entire week we give the whole. Uh, 15 week time uh, is given for week one. The 15 week time will be there for week two. The th 13 week time will be there for week three in the so, so on. OK, and even for the last week assignment, we give one main, one week more. OK, so it's not a big job. You will be given good freedom and good time flexibility. OK. Mm -hmm. Sir, uh, I just have registered in a PhD program and but don't have a roll number. Can I transfer credits to my PhD? Don't worry, you do, you can write anything because roll numbers are not going to be marked into a SWAM certificate. You can write anything X, Y, Z there in the there and uh, provided it has been passed in your statute or the syllabi in the board of studies of your department that it will be taken as a pre PhD course. Yes, these credits can be transferred and are being transferred by various universities. What you have to do? You have to take this course to your head of the department. Yes, sir. The, please put it into the board of studies so that we can get our course. Especially, it is become it is becoming very important uh, in the COVID-19 scenario. Okay, so try this. Try to do this. Lots many lot many institutions are already practicing academic writing uh, for credit transfer in the BHU and uh, in the Shastra University, Tanzor. And uh, uh, in the you know uh, that bits Pilani, uh, so many institutes are there, and number of institutes are there which have adopted the academic writing for credit transfer. So uh, that's all, sir. All the questions Thanks. have been answered. Uh, two thank you comments are there. One from uh, Dr. Lalita Rawat, Associate Professor, Department of English, Government Degree College, Shimla, Rodu, Shimla, SHP, okay. and then uh, one from Yuvraj Arya. So. Thanks to you too, too for joining uh, the event and that's all sir. That's all from thank our you. Thank, thank you dear participants. Uh, it was a wonderful journey. It was a uh, wonderful uh, curtain raiser. So I humbly invite you all to academic writing MOOC. Please do join us and create another history. Thank you. Thanks a lot for being with us. So we will be keep in touch and conducting various webinars and the next time we will be conducting the webinar through the YouTube streaming for our learners only. OK, so be with us. Thank you. Bye bye. So from the land of gods, I take your permission. Thank you. OK, Lokesh, thank you, Dr. Mona. Thank you for thank being you. The, the dashboard. Thank you. Thanks a lot.